Okay, this uh, this chimney's got a really funny um, rain cap on it, and uh, it was so this uh, this chimney's got a very funny uh, rain cap here, and the, the old the old flue was in there, and then it was totally totally not effective at all. So what we've done is cut a hole through the top of this. And we've extended this by 18 inches, so it's got some flow. And uh, it's, and then we're going to put this other rain cap on top of it, this concrete one. Uh, we had that one in there for a little while, but we decided to use the metal one, stainless one. It will probably do be more effective and easier to clean. And uh, we're going to repoint the chimney, but. That's what we did. We extended the flue by 18 inches and that's great. And here's another flashing separation on this chimney. We're going to draw that back in and sew a phone it off. So here we fixed that flashing, pulled it around the corner and put a screw in it and then siliconed it up so the water can't get behind it. And we're also repointing the bad areas on this. Uh, we've got our rain cap back on but we're going to leave it uh, removable so it's easier to clean that that fireplace so we're not even we're not going to silicone that down if it's not going anywhere anywhere or mortar it down so <coughs> we repointed the bad areas and we're going to waterproof that and it would really likely be very helpful to have a the flashing along that top row so it could all rip off. Over here we have this repointed on top here and we should put a flashing over the top I guess for longevity. But uh I'm gonna talk to the owner about that. So we did get a nice cap on this so now it all drains off the top and into the onto the roof instead of all over those bricks and that chimney will last a lot longer like that very good